let's look at this. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Somebody's life is changing today. Yeah, you came here block poor, maimed, disgruntled, defeated, uh, forsaken, rejected. The Lord is going to pick the pieces and fit them together and give you a dressing. From here you will turn in the right direction of your life and the people that have been mocking you will never mock at you again. They wonder the same girl who used to fail. Every question. People know if, if the teacher is going to mention her name, she's failing. You go back. And when the whole class is failing, is expecting that you're going to fail. You will stand majestically. Yeah. And you will explain more than the answer. Yeah. You will tell them, sir, the answer here is this. But let me just add some few points. Because if you read in this book, it explains in this way. But if you read in this book and in this book, sir, you find out the explanation is a little bit different. I found out that the difference is because A, B, C, D happened in this time and these people when they were writing it. Uh, let the teacher put his hands on the back. <laughs> That's your life. That's why a fountain of victory, fountain of victory, we are choosing today. To be the displayers of his life. Look at that word. For we are his workmanship. We are. I am his workmanship. <laughs> it says created in Christ Jesus. Now we know that his there stands for the father. Okay. Okay. Because we are in Jesus. So it's the Father that works in us. He says, and do good works. Not bad works. He says, which God before I came ordained that I or we of us, we should walk into them. So here's what he says. This path is a path to greatness. Anyone taking this path ends up chief executive, ends up with PhD, ends up with big, big achievements in life. In fact, at age 30, he starts his, his or her own company and he retires at 42. He says, this is a path that have ordained. But the problem is, there are people, qualified people, to walk into that path. They look in a certain way. They behave in a certain way. They think in a certain way. So anyone that gives himself to God, for God to work on him and dress him up, finds himself walking in that path. You don't start that path if God is not yet fitting you and qualifying you. You are his child, yes. But until you fall into his hands, and then he puts the light character in you, light character inside of you, the right faith in you, the right thinking in you, doing things in the right way, then you find yourself right in the path that God has created you, walking into that, and it becomes easy. You take that path, you can see clearly, that I'm going to end like A, B, C, D. This is the path they took. You feel it even when you start, you start it. When you get into that path, the feeling is different in you. That's why sometimes other people you cannot understand. They behave like others. It's because of the path they have taken. Yes, they are here. They are not yet at the end. But the feeling is the same. They can feel it in their spirit that I'm going to end with a PhD. I'm going to end 
with a PhD, no matter what I'm going to end as a managing director. The feeling is in you. You call it. Every time you see those people, you see yourself from their eyes. There's nothing impossible in you now. Every time you watch them, you read them in the newspaper, you see yourself. They become your reflection of life. You can tell that's how I'm going to end in life. No wonder that's why. That's the reason why you study them every time. You study them. From nowhere you are interested so much about Bill Gates. So much about Aaron Musk, Muskron. You are so much into it because a feeling tells you you are going to handle billions. That's the path you have taken. That's the path. Me, I knew. The people that reflected my journey. I saw them. When I found them, I knew one day, one day, that's where I'm going. It never looked impossible to me. I knew the path the Lord has taken me. I could see myself. My end is like that. My end like that. Father, help someone in this place. Help someone in this place. Maybe he doesn't know where he belongs, where he is in life. Relocate the feet of a person. Put them on the right path of life. Light path of life. Those becomes the mentors and your models. So you cannot be modeled by a long person. You understand who should talk to you. Who should speak to you. Who you should hang around with. You know these are chickens, not egos. You are not meant to end in this way. Their wings are not for flying, but your wings are for flying. You may look the same, you may have all the wings, but you can tell, my wings are for flying. They are not just for the decoration. I'm meant to fly in life. When you find those men, you can tell. You can tell. Ooh, ooh. You are not modeled by long guys. You are modeled by the right people. You can see the possibility of your destination. That I'm going to end in this way no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. That's the beauty when God starts with you. He puts a knowing of the future because God declares the end from the beginning. So he, has, he gives you a picture of where you're going to end while you have just studied if you have nothing of this kind, it means you have not yet fallen into the hands of the vine dresser. Then you get, you, you get confused in this world. Today you think you should end as, a, as an engineer. Tomorrow you think you should end as a doctor. Another day you think you should end as someone else who's going to run your own business, a very big business. Another day you feel like you should just own one machine and do some tailoring outside your house. You are confused, you really don't know. Another time you feel like you should end as a preacher. Your destiny is not very clear because you have never met the vine dresser. You don't know your dressings, your garments. In this life, you should be able to meet so many people but select the man that can model your life. You can be inspired by so many people but give yourself to one person that you have a similar destination. That you can tell, this is where I'm going. No matter what, this is where I'm going. I'm going to be used in this way. I'm going to end in this way. No matter what, I get inspired by that one, thank God. I get inspired by that one, thank God. I'm getting inspired by that one, thank God. But I'm going to follow the path of this man. Because that's where exactly I see myself ending. So you follow everything. He's, if he's a fasting man, you start fasting. If he's an addicted person to God in a certain way, you, get, you fall into the same addiction. If he does something else, you don't just do everything that everybody does. Otherwise, it's because you have no idea of the destination and because you have never fallen into the hands of the vine dresser. Don't delay yourself. At your time, fall into the hands of the vine dresser. Let him start shaping you. 
shaping you. Fall into his hands. You have no time. Know it while you're still young. This is where I'm going to end. This is what I'm going to end. And give him a chance to model your life. To deal with you. To deal with you. Let me just give you one more scripture. I, I, I would have loved if I broke that in Amplified, but we don't have time. We have to go for break. But let me just break, because I haven't defined the design in the eyes of the Father, so that you can all know that we can end. Everybody can have an achievement, but believe you me, every achievement is not the end in God. It has got a specific description. Specific description. You can end, you can start with God and leave him and continue with your own effort and end just no more. You will still be above maybe your siblings, be above maybe anyone else in your vicinity. But it's not the end that God had in his mind. That's why we need to understand well how this works. But let me just put this so that you see. So that you, you see. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, <clears throat> let's just start reading from verse 19. Second Timothy chapter 2. Start reading from verse 19. He says, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, it's a foundation of God, and the foundation has got an inscription. God, the Lord knoweth them that are his. In other words, you cannot change this statement. It is inscribed on the foundations that are sure that no one can move them. It's a statement that you cannot change it. God knows that belongs to him. You never change this statement. He knows you belong to me. God knows it. God knows it. But this is what we want. I want you to see. Says, Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. You know you belong to God. Depart from iniquity. The word iniquity is a good word for study. Because it means wrong doing not sin. I'll prove to you soon. Sin may fall into iniquity because sin is still wrongdoing. But there are things that we do that are wrong as Christians that are not sin. It's still an iniquity. For example, you may be a student and you don't study. That's a wrongdoing. Why are you a student and you don't study? Why are you a student or what you listen is music from morning up to evening? What do you want to become? So you are doing something wrong, but it does, it does not mean if Jesus comes, you go to hell because of it. Yes, because of your long doing, there will be repercussions. You will follow the exam. The teacher is teaching and you're sleepy. You can't concentrate. That's not the behavior of a person that wants to be number one. People that are number one don't behave in that way. People that want to be great achievers don't behave in that way. So your behavior is wrong. It's like a man of God who wants anointing to be with him anointing to be with him. He's not ready to pay the price. Price, the crushing, produces anointing. Compassion for the people elevates, enhances the flow of anointing for healing of people. There is no man who walks in a heavy anointing of healing. He has got a very bad heart. It doesn't love people. It doesn't work in that way. God will never use a man that doesn't love people 
and he uses him to also help people. No. The year 2022 is an amazing year, full of God's intervention and manifestation. Fountain Nation, welcome to 2022, the year of the roar of heaven. Hush anointed for showing, hush am going public. So you may be doing things wrong, that does not mean it's a sin. But there will be repercussions. You will miss certain things. That's the word iniquity. So he says, this statement stands sure. God knows who I is. But if you know you belong to God, depart from doing things wrong. Do things right. Then he will tell you about the house of God. So that you see he's not talking about sinners. Because sinners cannot be de described to be in the house of God. He will tell us about the house of God because there are people in the house of God. They are what they are, although they are blanches because they do things in the wrong way. It's not talking about sin. If he had talked about sin there, then he could have said he's allowing sin to be in the house of God. That could have been an error, a mistake. Then he tells us about 20. Give us 20. But in a great house, they are not only vessels of God, of silver, but also other people that don't know what to do with their lives, wood and of earth. Why in the same house we should be different? Because of wrong doings. People who don't know what to do. Things in the right way. They end up to be a wood in the house of God when they're supposed to be displayers of God. Or rather to be God and silver. And he has explained some are all and are honorable. Some are not honorable. God's design is not that. God has never designed his house to have other people that are very cheap. That you can be a child of God but things are not working for you. A child of God who is faring every day. A child of God who cannot go far with his life. God's design has never been like that. But because of the behavior, because there is a behavior, there is a way a man carries himself. There is a way how you do things in order to be the best. That's what God does with you. He helps you to know what to do with your life at the right time. That this time, if I'm going to take chamber in me, I'm kidding myself. If I get involved now with alcohol, I'm ruining my destiny. I'm destroying myself. I get involved with affairs now. Things are going to get wrong with me. I'm not yet at that time. So you find out your character and how you carry yourself has reduced you to a normal human being. You can't be the despair of God's life the way you behave. I can sit on a TV 
for five hours. I don't do that, of course. Two hours. That does not mean if you should also sit with me for two hours on TV or five hours on TV. No. We are at different times. What is she going to benefit by sitting five hours on TV? That's not her time. She needs five hours balling herself on the books, with the books, Lord, this lad. Studying like things. So, it's wrong doings that now we reduce ourselves as vessels of dishonor. God's honor can't be produced out of us. Our behavior is wrong. I chose as a pastor to do what is right. And I'm still pushing myself. Pushing myself. Yesterday night, I, I, I put my, my head on the bed. I don't know what was going on in me. The Holy Ghost simply says, have you ever seen a man coming from my altar? I'm not sleeping here. I'm just going, just going there, putting my head there. Audibly, God says, have you, seen my, have you seen a man coming from the altar? And started showing me. He says, he's completely different from a man coming from any other place. Come from my altar, son. Choose to come from the altar. Look at what I'll be doing with you if you if you're a product of my altar. I said, oh my God. Oh my God. Clearly everything came out. Clearly. This is what a man can do to stay from the altar and comes out from here. He says, struggles come because of where you come from. Come from my altar. You see. It won't be you. You are buried on my order. I can start doing things even while you're just, just, even before you check in in the service. You come from my order. This is where I want you to come from. This life, you just need to find what is the right thing to do for yourself. What is it the right thing that I can do now? And that's the involvement of the vine dresser. He's ready to bring you here and say, you, according to what I've designed to do with your life, this behavior is for that one, not you. Because not all of you in 10 years to come, you end at the same place. And be very careful to think that what your friend is doing is what you can do also. You have got different destination. You are not all going to end the same. All pastors understand. We can all be pastors, but our destiny is not the same. So you don't follow what others are doing. It is all right for them according to where they're going to end. But look at your end. What is a demand? What is a demand for your end? The Bible says to him that much is given, much is required. Not everybody has been given the measure like you was. The demand of the spirit from you is according to how much God has put and deposited in your spirit. Your friend can do whatever they can do. They can dance. They can do all those things. They can do all those. No, don't say, ah, you are a bowling, you are a bowling, you are a bowling young man, you are a bowling sister. Bowling, look at the investment I carry. You have only your sisters to save. I have a nation in my hands. Don't ever think a demand is the same. Yeah. All what you have is your brother to save. I have nations in my spirit to carry. I can't be, I can't behave like you. You should be able to know as a child of God what God has placed in you. Because much is given much is required. Not all of us are going to end it the same way. So because we're not going to end it the same way, we don't want to behave with the same way. We can all be Christians 
But there is a lot that God is expecting to some of us. To some of us. Some of you, some of you are coming from already rich families. Some of us were coming from the poor families. We have got a lot to change. A lot to change. When we do well in life, we are going to educate everybody. From our, from our brothers and sisters to our cousins. The, the work I have awaiting for me is big. So do not ever think making one million will be enough for me. God knows if I'm going to make one million is nothing. God will need me to make five million in a month. You can make one million and you still be happy because you don't have anyone else to look after. I have to look after so many people. You should be able to know that. What God is expecting from you is not what God is expecting from another person. The destiny is waiting for you. Amen. And let me tell you what God is going to do. You say, Lord, today I make a decision to fall into the hands of the vine dresser. Break me. Mold me. Dress me up. I may be doing things in a wrong way. I want a change to start now. I'm raising study. I want a change to start now. Look at my behavior. As young as I am, I have a girlfriend. I have a boyfriend. This is a wrong behavior, Lord. I don't want to abort and forfeit the destiny. The Lord has spoken to me and I want a change. God speaks for a reason. And he wants a change for everybody in this place. It doesn't matter what you have, what you have messed up in life. You can recorrect the pieces. And let God build you again. And say, Lord, here I am. I fall into the hands of the master builder. Help my life. Listen. If you were praying around with your life in a wrong way, tell God, I know now. And Zangas mena kujita zo, ata kujita chifa yoti mwina udinde wa wakiso golo ndi wa ungono. Ine ndindu udinde wa ukuru nyumba magwatu. Dane nagale kuti ena anupano, nchito ya inu ndi kuzango kutembe nuza mtu mozi. Ena nuso. Nchidu yanu mlungu wa kupasa ndi kutembe nuza ziko. Amene mlungu wa nina kuti muza tembe nuza ziko. Sanga fune zimozi, chimozi mozi. Kwa mtu amene wa muza kuti iwe. Uzango tembe nuza sister wako nchidu ya kwa yata. Nchidu ya kundi ya ingono. Wina hindi nchidu ya ikuru. Nde baibu mata amene mlungu wa mpasa zambiri. Zambiri suwa zadani. Aza funa kwa yeyo. Zimene mlungu ama funa kwa ife. Zima siyana ifaja zimene mlungu. Waika mwa ife. Nde pano. Dufuna antu amena kunena kuti Ndazi ndikira chimene ni machita china lichola kuika Dugusia lero Imani pa mene mulipu Choipa cho sindi kuchinena sindi kuzuwati nchotani Kwa mauguzi wa weka Kuti ineo ndazi ndikira Izi zina lichola kuika moyo mwanga I don't think nagapita kutari ngapiti lizandizi Lero ndugusia Ena femina ndulesi Ena feni mwano. Ena feni mene tima gwilisina nchito ntawi yatu. Anta sindikira kuti ine pano ndika pitiliza kari duedi. Sindika fika kutani. Lero ndufuna kusinta mungu anditandize. Nda mene ta ima fetu kufuna kunetu mungu anditandize. Imiga ni manjano kumamba. Na usinga te kukubele sani nose kusokolo kuno. Chifandi no ambiri kwa ambiri. Kwa mamulungu ndo kurupilika kukuza winari yese. Amene apulida pa masopambu yoti mungu nditandizi.